Um, I think one reason we quite see, keep seeing those headlines is that they make quite good headlines from the, the public's point of view uh, or from a newspaper sales point of view. Do I think the lights will go out? I'm actually confident that, that they weren't. Um, I'm confident that the grid and the industry have the tools available to, to keep those lights on. Um, I think the critical part will be as we actually transition into the first year of the capacity market and what that delivers. And I think where we perhaps as an industry have to do a better job is explaining to the public around what we're doing and exactly how we are transitioning. And actually why I, I sense that having a, a lower capacity margin is not such a worry given how the market is structured and how grid can use these tools. You know, we, we've spoken about interconnectors, for example, which obviously have a, a great part to play in how you manage these peak periods where, where there is the most risk. So I think, again, we're in a very different market position to where we were a few years ago, and actually a very different market position to where we were, I think, a decade ago when capacity dr had dropped down to this level before. And the lights didn't go out then, by the way. So, yeah, the, the, the sort of markets evolve, markets change. And I don't think we're in a world where we necessarily need to have this 10, 15, 20% margin as long as we've got the flex in the system to be able to bring on peaking units as we need.